Hi, I'm Josh, your American English Guide, and welcome to another listening analysis lesson. We are going to use a small video clip from the TV show Friends. Like always, we are going to start with a listening dictation first, which you can skip using the timestamp. But in this lesson, we're first going to show a few seconds of the clip so that you can get the context. And then the last little part that is going to be our sentence that we focus on today, you will not see, you will have to listen and try to write. We will then, of course, go through and do all of our analysis of that last sentence. This video clip is from season six, episode seven. And the focus is that Phoebe runs weird and this is embarrassing Rachel. So Rachel pretends that she has an injury so that she does not have to run with Phoebe. In the clip that we're about to see, it is when Phoebe confronts Rachel because Phoebe discovers that Rachel is still running without her. So let's take a look at this clip and hear our sentence. Ah! Oh yeah, uh -huh, it's me. I saw you grab your running shoes this morning and sneak out. You lied so you could run by yourself. 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 And the answer here is... You lied so you could run by yourself. You lied so you could run by yourself. Okay, so let's start analyzing this. First, let's look at the syllables. So if you want, you can pause the video and mark how many syllables you think are in each word. Every single word is one syllable except for the word yourself, which is two syllables. It's actually pretty common to find sentences where most of the words are only one syllable. This is one reason why the content word, function word, stress pattern rules are so super useful and important and part of the 80-20 of learning English pronunciation. Okay, the next thing we want to do is mark the stress and that can depend on the context. So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip two or three more times so that you can really focus in and try to hear which words are stressed and which ones aren't. You can then pause the video to mark it if you want. You lied so you could run by yourself. You lied so you could run by yourself. So first we have the word you. This is usually not stressed because it is a one syllable function word. Phoebe is not saying you lied, right? She's saying you lied, you lied, which of course the next word lied is stressed because that is a one syllable content word. It is a verb. You lied so you could run by yourself. And what about the word so? This word is not stressed. You and could, which are again just one syllable function words, you is a pronoun, could is a modal verb. These are usually not going to be stressed because they are one syllable function words. So you could run by yourself. So you could run by yourself. Next we have run, which is a verb and a one syllable content word. So it will be stressed. Next we have by, which of course is a preposition, one syllable function word, no stress. Then we have yourself, our two syllable word. So is it yourself or is it yourself? Run by yourself, run by yourself. Well, it's gonna be the second one, right? Another reason that we know this is because notice that your is actually being reduced to your, which is just the er vowel sound after the Y consonant. Year. And what about the intonation in this sentence? Well, we actually have an exclamation point at the end. So instead of directly dropping at the end, we are going to rise first, and then we're going to fall just a little tiny bit at the end. It doesn't matter if that last syllable is stressed or not, we're still going to go higher than whatever that syllable is. Run by yourself, run by yourself. Now let's look at the basic sounds in each word. I will play the clip one more time for you to listen to, 
and then you can pause the video if you want. You lied so you could run by yourself. You lied so you could run by yourself. First we have U. Now this is the Y consonant sound plus the U vowel sound. Not O-U, just U. U. We know this is often reduced to Y, but in this particular case it's not. And there's a couple reasons for that which we'll come back to. Next we have lied. So here we have the L consonant sound, L, plus the I vowel sound, and then a D at the end. Now next we have so. This is, of course, the S sound, S, plus the O vowel sound, O, so. Now because this is not stressed, we can actually reduce it, especially in fast speech, to more like a schwa sound, s, s. Then of course we have u again, so y, u, which can also again be reduced to a schwa, y. And at this point, I want to bring up something very, very important. Learning English with TV shows is super, super useful and powerful. But there's one little detail to keep in mind, which is that actors are trained to speak naturally, of course, but also to enunciate clearly enough. So in the sentence so far, we've seen, You lied, so you, you lied, so you. And we can hear her saying you, so, and you without the reductions to y and s. You lied, so you, you lied, so you. However, you can also say, You lied, so you, you lied, so you. That's perfectly fine. It's a little less clear. You can always be pronounced as you because that's the full pronunciation. It's possible, but it can also be reduced. At the start of this particular sentence, because she's confronting Rachel, we're probably going to say you instead of ya. It's just a little more likely in that case. But the so and the you can very easily be reduced to say ya, say ya. You lied, say ya. You lied, say ya. Just allows us to speak a little bit faster. It's a small detail and you don't have to worry about it too much. But let's move on to our next word, could. Now this word has many letters, but it actually only has three sounds. That's right, three sounds. First we have the K sound, k. Then we have the high schwa, which is what I call it because it feels kind of like you're moving the schwa sound up onto the back of your tongue. And then of course we have the D. So that L is silent, it's just spelling. Our next word is run. Now this is going to start, of course, with the R consonant sound, which remember is the same as the vowel, it's just a little bit shorter, er, er. We go from the er into a schwa. So you're just gonna go from er, you're gonna drop down into that schwa sound, r, r. And then of course we have the N, so you're gonna bring your tongue up into the N, so run. And remember, the N in English does not touch the teeth, usually. It comes up here, just behind the teeth. Next we have by, which is the B consonant sound, and spelled with a Y, but it's the I diphthong sound, just like the name of the letter, I. And then we have yourself. Now, as I mentioned earlier, because your is not stressed, we're actually reducing it to your, which that's actually the most common way to say your. We almost always say it that way, even more than reducing you to ya. It's just sort of the standard normal way to say your. So we have the Y consonant plus the er vowel sound. And then we're going to self. So we start with an S. We go from the S to the E, which is the third vowel sound, se, se. And then of course we have the L there, which in this case is not just spelling. It actually is an L, but it's a half L, which is what I call the dark L, I think. The one that's not so bright and full. L. L. Sell. So it sounds just like the verb to sell, but then we have that F at the end. Self. Self. So you'll notice that half L vowel sound actually colors the third vowel E. We call it an L colored vowel. And so it's gonna sound a little different. Instead of se, it's like sell, sell, because we immediately start moving from that e into the ul, yourself, 
You lied so you could run by yourself. And now for connections, linking, and flow. Again, I will play the clip a couple times so you can analyze it from this angle, and then you will have a chance to pause if you want. You lied so you could run by yourself. You lied so you could run by yourself. First we have you and lied. So U to O, the L sound. Now remember, this L is at the start of a syllable, so it's not going to become a half L or something like that. It's going to be U and O. You lied. So that flows very nicely. There's no connection. There's nothing special happening there. You're just going to go from the U, bring that tongue up into the O. Okay, then we're going from lied to so. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this. If you listen closely to the clip, you'll notice that she actually kind of almost pushes out that D. Lied so. Lied so. You lied so. You lied so. The, the S kind of gets pushed through the D. And so we hear a little bit of the D coming out as she goes into the S. Lied so. You lied so. So it's not lied so as like two completely separate things. They sort of link into each other. But we do get that flow between the two sounds and we don't actually have to do a glottal stop here. Next, so and you. So we're going from O to the consonant Y. O Y. O Y. Flows very nicely. Very, very nicely. So you. So you. There's no connection there. There's nothing special. They just flow into each other. If these were reduced and we said say ya, say ya, they still just flow. Remember, in both cases, we're going from a vowel sound, O or a, uh, to a consonant sound, Y. So these will not connect. That's general rule number one. Next, we have could, you could, or maybe ya could. Again, same thing here. We're going from a vowel sound to a consonant sound. There's not going to be any sort of connection or special thing happening. Because the K is a stop sound, you can actually say this kind of breaks a little bit. You could, you could, or you could, you could, as we push that K out. Next, we have could and run. Now, there are a couple of different things that could happen here, but in the clip, we hear her saying could run. So you could run, so you could run. Because we have to release the D to go into the R, you might hear a little bit of a D come out. It's supposed to be a glottal stop, but there's actually another very common thing that you can do here which is to actually drop the D and go straight into the R. Kurun. Now make sure you hit that high schwa vowel sound. If you don't, it's probably not going to be understandable. If you say a schwa kurun, so you kurun, sounds a little weird. So you have to make sure that your sounds are accurate enough, but that is another thing that is possible. Next we have run and buy. In the clip, you hear Phoebe say run, buy. There's an N, there's a B, and we hear them both very clearly. So you could run by yourself. So you could run by yourself. However, one thing that's very common when we have this close proximity of an N or an M, as well as the P or B, one thing that can happen very frequently is between words, we'll actually kind of link these into each other and make a special connection. So here, what you can do, instead of saying N, B, you can go straight into that B in the lip position without saying the B yet and make that N into an M, a very fast M, okay? And then immediately push out the B. So we don't actually have to close into the N and then do the B, right? We can say rumbai, rumbai. Again, in fast speech. If you enunciate, then we're gonna hear the N and the B. As I mentioned earlier, Phoebe is actually enunciating a bit in this clip, and so that's why you don't hear that overlap. But either way is perfectly fine. And then we have by and yourself. So we're going from the vowel sound I, the diphthong, into the consonant Y. I, I. Just kind of sounds like it goes a little deeper towards E, because E vowel and the Y consonant are very, very close. But then we're going to pull back into that ER for your, right? I year, I year. So we want to do a few more things here. First, let's back chain. So I'm going to start at the end of the sentence and we're going to work our way towards the front of the sentence and you just repeat after me each time. Self. Yourself. 
by yourself. Run by yourself. So you could. So you could run by yourself. You lied so. You lied so you could run. You lied so you could run by yourself. 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 As always, a special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Now my question for you, do you find it more useful and interesting to use video clips from TV shows like this? Hopefully I don't run into any technical problems, but if you like this format and all goes well, then I will continue to make videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching another English Axe lesson, and I will see you in the next one.